Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Golden Sun! When last we left off, Isaac and the party didn't have that much luck in the Mercury Lighthouse. As you can see, the lighthouse has been lit, and despite defeating Satoros in single combat, Satoros and Minardi have managed to escape, both with the remaining two elemental stars and Jenna and Kraydon. But we did learn a few things, namely that, um, we're stronger than Alex and Satoros thought that we were, and also that there are some interactions between various adepts and the lighthouses when you're within them. And Mia has now decided to come and travel with Isaac and the party, mainly to, uh, probably confront Alex again, and also to try and save the world from destruction, as her purpose was to, uh, stop the, uh, Mercury lighthouse from being lit, and clearly that's happened. And also, something else has happened. The fountain is now flowing once again. Our fountain is back. They say these waters can heal all that lives. <sighs> all that lives. That means it must work on plants and animals too. And that is a massive hint that you can get that you wouldn't otherwise see if you didn't mind read. And also, how did you all manage to get here avoiding all of the bears? I mean, this water is meant to heal all that lives, but it can't heal people that are dead from bears. The legend said that if the lighthouse was lit, the fountain would fill again. It looks like the legends were true. How did the fountain know that the beacon was lit? Maybe, just maybe, the fountain is related and connected to the uh, status of the lighthouse, and it wasn't active when the lighthouse wasn't active. And now that the beacon is lit, the water is flowing once more. I drank the healing water, and now I feel great. I should get a bottle so that I can take some home with me. Another rather big hint, but that one is told to you without having to mind read. I knew it would work, but I never knew it would work this well. I feel ten years younger. And already they're starting to get a little too reliant on this healing water. Imagine, for instance, if it stopped flowing again. Everyone would just drop dead from illness because they hadn't been uh, using other methods to uh, keep better. And for instance, they wouldn't uh, need herbs or antidotes or anything if they have this magic water. We don't have to fear any epidemic as long as we have our fountain. I never believed those stories, but there's the proof. The fountain is flowing with water, and we do want to fill this bottle that we have with the Hermes water. The Hermes water can restore all of your hit points, no matter how many you're missing, and it then will give you a uh, empty bottle that you can uh, then go all the way over here to refill. But this is why we decided to uh, do this area first, instead of going straight to uh, Kalima. We need that water, and if we didn't have it, we'd have to go all the way back here later. So let's now go over to Emil. There are a lot of things that we can do, but the first thing we want to do is go and pay a visit to the other people here in the shrine. Mia has some things to say, or try to say. Mia. We were worried that you wouldn't come back. Indeed, there are a lot of bears on the way to the lighthouse. I'm so sorry, you two. Mia, we have a problem. The Mercury Lighthouse. It's been lit. Indeed it has, and it's very, very visible. Mia, you already knew? She was kind of there. More nodding and silence. What's the matter? You look strange today, Mia. She doesn't know what to say. I... How should I tell you? You have something to say? What is it? Well, I... Um... Well, unfortunately you can't get Isaac to help you because he doesn't say anything. I... I'll be joining Isaac on his quest that I actually didn't tell you about. He's trying to save the world. It's very hard for me to leave you, but it's the lighthouse. You said that the world would be in danger if a lighthouse was lit, right? Yep. Is that why you're leaving? To protect the world? That is indeed the reason. Yes, that's right. Then there's nothing we can do. We won't try to stop you then. After all, you're trying to protect the Mercury Clan, of which these two kids are members. And she's sad. Yes, I am. 
As members of the Mercury Clan, we will protect Emil ourselves, but we don't have blue hair, so we're not as important as you. So don't worry, okay? I will try hard to learn that he to heal as well as you, Mia. You may even succeed. Okay, I'll leave the village in your hands, Megan, Justin. Some of the few characters that don't have portraits that get names. We can leave without any worries now. And off we go. And you managed to sidestep really quickly there. I will be a kind girl like Mia. Come back sometime and see me all grown up. I want you to. I'm sorry, Mia, but I can't stand to see you go. Oh, that's sad. Mia's going on a journey with you, right? It makes me sad, but I'll try to be a good healer. Mia's going to defend the honor of the Mercury Clan. Indeed she is. Now let's go and talk to everyone else first, because hey, why not? Starting with you. The Mercury Lighthouse is shining. Mia will be leaving us soon, won't she? How does everyone know that? Mia was only in Emil to guard the lighthouse. Now it has been lit, she'll probably leave us. That does actually make sense. Let's go in here. Hello, how are you? It's nice that the fountain can heal us, but Mia had something special. That blue light from her hands. Could she really be an angel? No, she's an adept, but we're not going to tell you otherwise. Let's go over here now, shall we? And talk to you. Hello. One, two, three, four. I can count even more. I was training hard so that I could withstand any disease. And now the lighthouse fountain is back? Yes, it is. What did I train so hard for all this time? To remain healthy. It's a good thing to stay active. Let's uh, mind read, shall we? Now that I've let my guard down, I'm getting cold chills. Maybe I should go and drink some of that fountain water. Or maybe you could just... I don't know, keep healthy, and then only use the fountain water if things get really bad. I can imagine these people keeping a stockpile of it now, just in case, or maybe just drinking it instead of water, and then relying way too heavily on it. If it will be fine, disease is nothing to the water of Hermes. Don't worry about us, Mia. We'll protect the village now. Me, a small, defenseless child. That worked so well with Vale, after all. Oh wait, no it didn't. Hello, you. That fountain water really made Grandpa healthy. Grandpa's all better now, thanks to that fountain water. Hello, how are you? Did I really say I was going to die from that disease? Yes, you did. <laughs> I must really have felt sick to say that. I'm good for another 30 years. Let me get back to work. Now Mia can leave the village without any worries. Everyone is thinking about the lighthouse or Mia. To be fair, that sort of makes sense considering what's going on. Hello, how are you? Thank goodness the town is back to normal again. They came to our village and now the fountain is flowing. They must truly be our lucky charms. Let's talk to you, shall we? It's almost time for you to leave, isn't it? Yes, it is. Just like the legend said, the fountain began flowing when the light was lit. That means that Emil never need fear disease again. Mia will be leaving with you all. I wish you could stay a little longer. Well, we're probably going to be uh, doing stuff concerning uh, restoring our synergy before we head out because Ivan really doesn't have that much. I'm glad the beacon has been lit and the fountain is flowing again, but it's a shame that Mia is leaving the village. I never told Mia that I liked her, but I guess it's for the best. Well, you could say it right now! She's right here! Um, say what? You know, what you were wanting to say? Um... And then they stared at each other awkwardly for a while. Alright, I think that's enough. Let's go, shall we? There is no one up here, and I was expecting someone to be up here. Ah well, let's go and talk to just a few more people. Like, for instance, the people in the general shop here. Hello. I'm so happy that Mummy is well again. My daddy's still in Kalima. I'll be really happy if he comes home soon. About that. I'm fully recovered thanks to the fountain. I can get back to work. Mia said it wouldn't be good to leave the lighthouse lit, but it turned out to be the best thing for Emil. 
maybe in the short term, but in the long term, the whole world might be doomed. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, and now these stores are open for business. I have to catch up on lost opportunity. It's time for business. Customers are hard to come by, and I can't afford to lose even one. Well, don't worry, we're probably going to be partaking in your uh, services. It's a shame a store was closed for something as minor as a cold that could have potentially killed us. I don't think that was a cold. Customers are back. I thought I'd lost my business for good. There is something very important you can do here now, and that is buy some better equipment. And you need to be careful about the leather gloves and the bronze shields, because both of them can be used by the um, these two characters here. I think only Ivan can use the uh, gloves, though. But uh, this uh, bronze shield can also be used by um, these two characters here. So you don't want to buy the gloves and then buy the shields. You might as well just buy the shields here. There we go. It's a very good item indeed. Would you like to equip it now, Isaac? It looks very good on you. How does some money for that leather glove sound? Um, actually... No, not yet. That's as high as I can go. Sorry, but no deal. But we do get a free game ticket. Excellent. I think the reason why is because we can just pass that glove off to, uh... I think we can pass that glove off to Ivan. Why not we do that right now? It does, uh, pay to keep items that you can just pass along to others. Let's, uh, give that item over to, uh, Ivan here. There we go. And equip it. Brilliant. And now we can sell a few more things. Like, for instance, uh, we can get this bronze shield for, uh, Garrett here. There we go. And we would like to equip it. And we would like to sell that wooden shield that is kind of rubbish. And one more game ticket. We also want to, uh, I don't think anybody, nope, nobody gains from that anymore. And nobody gains from that either. I think people may gain from these, but the amount of gain there is so minimal, there's really no point. But here, it's not a bad thing. So we'll just buy that right now. Excellent. 90 coins for that sounds brilliant, and yet another game ticket. We're gonna be using those eventually. Also, I don't think anybody can really use those at all. There are a few more things we can buy, and that is mainly in the weapon section. There is an awesome item, and that is, uh, it's not here right now, I think it's in the artifact section. You must be a connoisseur if those caught your eye. What would you like? There is a magic rod, there is a witch's wand, and there is a blessed arc. This unleashes the siphon steal ability. And it is a really, really good item. It's not as good as the, um, well, the difference between these two items. The Bandit Sword is far worse than the Witch's Wand. We might as well buy this, but there might also be a few other items that we could purchase. For instance, there might be a Broadsword here that is better than a Battle Axe, but, um, not as good as the, um... We might as well actually just buy that. Why not? It's not as good as the Elven Rapier, but it's a good item. There we go. We'd also like to, yep, sell that definitely. And, yep, a game ticket is a good thing to get. Most certainly. There we go. We do want to get the, um, the heavy mace here can actually be equipped by, uh, Mia. Mia can equip maces, but, uh, right now the witch's wand is actually, uh, a lot better. If we wanted to sell, for instance, the, uh, that item there, we get a fair bit of money, and we actually want to do that right now. Because we want that, um, we definitely want the um, item that is in the artifact section. But do we want to get rid of the... Um, that is a good question. Do we want to get rid of the uh, item that... I'm curious if Ivan and Mia, or Mia should have the uh, item here. It might actually be better off for um, Mia to have the um, that and uh, the, those to swap round. The witches want to be on uh, Ivan. Actually, that's probably a good idea. So why don't we do it that way round? We do, however, need to uh, sell that uh, bandit sword first. There we go. We'll just sell that. What rare stuff. How about 525 coins? All right, I'll buy it. Here are your coins. And we now want to uh, swap a few items around before we uh, go and get that item. It's definitely worth doing this. We want to uh, give this over to... Uh, there we go. And equip it. Marvelous. And now we want to get a really nice item here for uh, Mia. It is worth checking the artifact section every now and again. The Bandit Sword is right there, just in case you need it. And there we go. Marvelous. 
and we would like to equip it now, and you look bolder already. And a free game ticket! Marvellous! And now I think we're pretty much ready to travel all the way back to Kalima. And it's always a good idea to make sure that you have as much as you possibly can. Also, the uh, amount of money we got when we were in the, um, the Mercury Lighthouse, it's something that happens a lot. The money just sort of racks up, and then eventually you can just spend it in the next place you go to. Also, going to the inn here is probably a really good idea. Also, it's 32 coins. That is quite a lot of coins! But fortunately, we will be getting a little bit of money along our way back. Alright, there we go. Excellent. I think saving again might be a good idea, just because I saved before we uh, went over and actually rested. Now that we're fully ready to go, let's head out into the world beyond, and backtrack quite a bit. These encounters we're going to face are not going to be half as difficult as they were before. Hello, Bear! You have absolutely no chance to survive whatsoever. I do remember the um, item that Mia has being a really good one. Also, we are attacking quite a bit. There we go! Excellent! And the Ooze's synergy has been sealed, which means that uh, the Ooze can't use any abilities that aren't melee attacks. It's a really, really good ability. And the uh, stun voltage is also pretty good, because it means that you can stun enemies, which is also really good. Basically prevents them from uh, attacking. I did mention the same thing twice there, but it is so good it is worth mentioning a second time. Alright, over the bridge is a encounter with a bear and a gnome. But fortunately we're pretty capable of dealing with this. Let's just use a little bit of synergy here, a bit of synergy here, and why not some synergy right here? I think these enemies are in trouble, most certainly. Synergy for everyone! Also, that synergy is very weak indeed. I think we need to really switch over to a different synergy. Also, I think we just need uh, a second Jin there for Isaac. And a selection of attacks will finish us off quite nicely. Excellent! Onwards we- ooh, level 10 for Garrett. Not bad! And on we go back to Kalima. It's not going to be half as difficult as a uh, journey the first time around. Because, actually, no, we haven't even been to Kalima yet. I mean Bilibin. We're going to be heading to Kalima soon enough. But first we have to go back to Bilibin. I have a Kalima on the brain there because uh, we're going to be starting the Kalima plot. Also, we might as well use an earthquake here. And maybe a little bit of a uh, flare here. And then a uh, ray here. We might as well use all of the synergy we can, because when we get into Bilibin, we can just rest in the inn, and uh, really, the amount of money will be less than in Imil, so we don't have to worry. There we go! These poor ghouls had no chance whatsoever. There we go. 126 coins. Not bad whatsoever. And on we go! I don't actually know if artifact armor is available. It might actually be worth checking out. Alright. More encounters. And we could uh, do that there, and why not some fire, just because it looks like a really cool ability. One there, and one there. Aha! The power of synergy! Sometimes it just can be a little bit of overkill. That is much better. Some tundra here to get rid of them. Or one of them, rather. And now they're in an awkward position in that we can't hit all of them. One of them, however, is most certainly doomed. I'm sorry, Mr. Gnome, you don't stand any chance. Brilliant! And an antidote, which is rather worthless considering that we have Mia, but hey, sometimes Mia will be out of commission. And here we go. One thing that we do need to look at is there was an area sort of nearby that had a um, sort of a circular location that really didn't serve much purpose. However, it could be a location that... Um, there might be a Jin hiding out, so it is worth having a look just in case. On we go through an area that is even easier than the area we were in before. We are a little bit too powerful now for these enemies, most certainly. And there goes one of them, and a nimble dodge, but 49 damage, yeah, these enemies are not a problem whatsoever. Goodbye, zombie! And that zombie is indeed gone, and the amount of experience and gold we're getting is paltry now. Absolutely paltry. But I think over here might be what I was looking for. Mainly Bilibin. 
Billabin is right there. Hello, rats and rat soldiers. We really don't have anything to fear from any of you. Goodbye, one enemy. Oh, not yet. The enemies soon will just be one hit, but there goes one of them. And these were- oh, that was a uh, dodge there, and indeed that enemy cannot move. It's safe to say that, uh, yep, this is a easy encounter indeed. Goodbye rats, goodbye rat soldiers. You were really not long for this encounter, but a fair amount of gold there. And here we are back in Billabin. We might as well go in and rest at the inn. It can't hurt, can it? Well, it certainly can't hurt for that tree who hasn't gone anywhere. He's certainly setting down roots here in Billabin. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. And now that we've rested and restored all of the synergy that we lost, when we come back, folks, we will start to deal with the whole Kalima problem. And maybe we might even uh, get permission to go from Lord McCoy to uh, deal with whatever's happening. Who knows? I mean, we are well equipped and well armed. It can't hurt, can it? Also, I thought that I- oops, accidentally didn't press the run button there. Might as well go and have a look and see if there's anything uh, armor related in the artifacts section. Nope, that's the weapon merchant there. What about you? Any artifacts? I'm sorry, we're all out of stock right now. No artifact armor at all. Well, it was worth checking. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Hey look, we're back and we're higher level than we were before and you're still a tree. I'm sure we'll deal with that at some point. Maybe. Later.